You've listed a range of policies there. When you have a look at what you've done as Prime Minister versus what Tony Abbott, has, um, Tony Abbott did as Prime Minister, across a whole range of policy areas, the ones you've named, as well as climate change, defence, mm. border protection, foreign policy, productivity, IR, education, same-sex marriage, the Republic, um, there's very little difference. So then what was the point of knifing Tony Abbott? Well, I, I, I don't want to buy into that sort of, those sort of unpleasant metaphors. But it is something I mean, that really, people have really, been... No, no, no it is no, something no, that people but, have been discussing but we but shouldn't in a be in using, policy we, sense. Can I just say, we shouldn't be using violent metaphors like that, okay. talking about... So there was a okay, change... I, I, okay, I, I, there I was, was a change... replacing Tony Abbott. Yes, so, correct. But there's been, what was the point of that? Because there's been very little policy change. Well, that's, that's quite untrue, if I may say so. Let me run through a few. Firstly, we dealt with Senate voting reform. That was not on the agenda and it's done. It's been voted in and done. Secondly, we have a cities policy. We are, fine at, we are not limiting our support in cities and generally to roads. We're supporting mass transit and public transport. Media ownership reform, kicked into the long grass, never to be seen again apparently, taken out. It is now the government's policy and we'll be proceeding to bring our media ownership laws into the 21st century. And right across the, the agenda of innovation, that's, that is an innovation, if you like, of my prime ministership. But we are supporting investment in new start-up companies. We're ensuring that our universities and our best minds and our big research institutions work closely with and collaborate with business. I mentioned the point about business continuity and changing corporate bankruptcy laws. Right across the board, there are, there are many... Look, between Tony and myself, Tony Abbott and myself, there is continuity, of course. I was part of his government, part of his cabinet. But there is also a great deal of change. Uh, so as you go from one Liberal Prime Minister to another, you have continuity so and you have change and there has been a lot of change. So when voters come to vote on election day, are they voting for three years of coalition government? Because it's not, you're not a new government. They'll be voting... Well, voters always look forward. <laughs> They'll be voting for the next three years and they will be voting... They will be deciding... Who do they think is best able successfully to manage the transition of our economy so that we can ensure that our children and grandchildren have good, high-paying jobs in this, the most exciting time for Australia, in this, the time of the greatest economic opportunities? Okay, and the choice is down. between me and Bill Shorten.